Welcome friends to Muskrat Link. Today we've got a really awesome video. I've been super excited about doing this one for a long time. We're gonna play the same course on the sim and then in real life to see what the difference is. Let's go. Make sure you guys are subscribed to Muskrat Links Golf. We've got a ton of cool stuff here on the channel. We are almost at 5K subscribers as well. So make sure you are subscribed by that point because we've got some really cool stuff coming at 5K. So join the community, go ahead and put some comments in, join in the polls, join in the quizzes. It is so much fun and I'm happy you guys are a part of it. So for today, some of the things that we've got going on. For the simulator, we're gonna be setting it up tournament settings, right? We're gonna have no wind. The grid lines are gonna be on on the green. All of our yardages are going to be precise and we've got the six foot gimmies turned on. I'm also not doing any boost to my drives or irons or anything like that. You can play that way in tournament settings, but I have 0% boost turned on to try to make this as close to possible as real life. And then as for the things that are exactly the same, of course, we're playing the same course. We are heading out to Campbell Scottish Highlands down in Salem. We're going to be playing the back nine. Originally, I was going to play the front nine and I actually had this all recorded once already, but then when we got there, we were forced to play the back nine. So we're doing the back nine here today. Same tees, same clubs, same ball, same everything. We're using our Muskrat Lynx Vice Pro Plus, of course. But enough talking about it. I'm going to show you the sim hole, then the real life hole, so you can really get the comparison between the two. This is going to be a super cool video. So strap in. Let's head out to hole number 10. So what can you guys expect from this video? Well, you know I'm a seven handicap. And if you've been on the channel before, you've probably seen me play on the Muskrat Lynx Sim Tour. So you know about what I normally shoot on a, like a real full length 18 hole course. So I'm predicting we're going to be about probably five strokes better or so on the same later than in real life. First hole, short par four, about 307 yards. Let's see if we can pipe one. And we'll just aim a little bit up the left here. And we'll aim a little bit up the left-hand side here. We got the bird cruising down the fairway as well. So let's just see if we can keep this thing in play. Definitely pulled it a hair, but we caught the middle of the club face. So that's nice. Carried it about 260, staying out of the sand trap. All right, good opening drive. Almost pin high here with that drive. We've got an absolutely massive green to work with. The greens are huge here at Campbell Scottish Highlands. Very different from your typical New Hampshire green. So it looks like this one's a little bit right to left. So we'll go ahead and flip it out there a couple clicks, but really let's just see if we can get this close and give ourselves a birdie putt. Got the 58 degree here. See if we can land this about probably two thirds of the way to the hole. Landed about halfway. That's not exactly what I was trying to do. Okay, not the best chip there, but we do have a look at birdie. So let's see if we can at least get this to scare the hole. Well, you know it's a long putt when the grid doesn't even make it all the way to your ball. So we got a little bit of left to right at the beginning, a little bit of right to left at the end. I'm probably just going to play this one dead straight. Why not? Let's just make this putt about speed. It's looking for 58 feet. It's on the way. I feel like I'm going to come up a little short on this one. Yeah, not the greatest putt. It's gonna to be tough to find these greens out again. I've kind of lost my green mojo since I haven't played on this in so long. All right, let's see if we can convert a 12 footer for par. Yeah, having not played the simulator in a while is tough. We've been playing outdoor golf all summer here, so it'll take a little bit of getting used to, but we got a bit of right to left in this putt. Probably not a whole lot. Maybe just like right there. Cup outside right. Let's see if we can get this one to drop. Come on, be good. Oh, it's dripping off the front there. Well, that is a bit disappointing. We hit the green in regulation and then we three putted for our bogey. All right, plus one. Let's go back and play this thing in real life. We're back here on the live course here. And let me tell you, it's a lot different than the sim. It's pretty windy out here today. It's a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be as well. So that's definitely gonna play into things. It is a pretty nice evening out. So we got that going for us. Par four ahead of us here. It's about 300 yards. We're waiting for them to clear the green, but I'm excited to see how this experiment goes. Let's hit it. All right, looks like we got about 240 to get to the trees on the right. So those are definitely in play. And 280 to the front of the green there. So that's kind of what we're trying to do. Just get something up and out of trouble really. There we go. Fading a little bit. Perfect. All right, let's roll. All right, 78 yards left here for our approach. Pin is tucked in the back. Let's see if we can get one up on the dance floor. Off to the right. Well, it is a green in regulation, but that's not the direction we wanted to go. All right, let's try to make our two putt. 
Well, we've got a bomb of a putt here. Hopefully you guys can even hear me over the wind in the distance, but anything on the green close to the hole is what we're looking for. Greens are a little faster than I thought. Didn't hit any putts on the putting green, so. All right, looking like uh, it's gonna be a chip for the next shot. I really had no idea what to expect from that putt, but see if we can just chip this guy close. Give ourselves a nice looking bogey. Decent, decent. All right, see if we can finish her up. Looks like a little left to right. Probably just left edge. See if we can drain this thing. Oh, it dove off to the right. Well, that's not the start we were looking for, but it's the start we got. Double on the first. We've got a 171 yard, 12 foot uphill par three here for our next hole. Hmm, probably playing about 180. So I think I'm actually gonna take a six iron here and pretty much take dead aim and let it drift back to the center of the green. Good direction. Do we have the right number? Yeah, it's looking pretty nice here. Oh, look at that thing roll out. That is an absolute thing of beauty. Great approach shot here on hole number two. We're gonna have a good look at bird. Let's go. It is a beauty here. We've got a 12 footer for birdie. Looking for an eight foot putt because it's so far downhill. We underread the first one. So let's try to overread this one. It's a little trickler downhill as well. So we'll play it outside and go for more drip speed on this one. Well, I definitely hit it with drip speed, but I should have played it a little higher. Yeah, speed was really good. That's okay. We will take a tap in par. That is much better than we had on hole number one. All right, let's run it back in real life and see how we do. Well, we got off the first. It was not exactly the greatest start we've ever seen. Like I said, I didn't get any chance to putt on the putting greens beforehand, so it's definitely a disadvantage of playing out in the real world. You have to be able to get used to the greens a little bit here, so we're used to them now. No more excuses. Let's start rattling off some pars. We've got a par three up next here, playing about 170 yards, a little uphill. Strong headwind as well. I think I'm gonna hit a seven iron. Let's go. Looks good. Little right of the flag. Come on, baby. Oh, it looks like it's a pretty good number as well. Maybe a little long, but that's a really good shot. We'll take it. Well, we landed just about pin high here, which is pretty good. Nice chunky little pitch mark, complete with a hat to put back on top. All right, let's see if we can not three putt this or four putt this, whatever I did last hole. Let's do better than that. Got some scab marks and pitch marks down there a little bit. Don't get those on the simulator, but again, we just want to leave ourselves a tap in here. That is the idea. Settle. Oh my God, these greens are so fast. Okay, we got that for par. These things are lightning quick. All right, we got like a 10, 12 footer back up the hill here to try to save par. The wind picks up. Let's see if we can at least scare the hole. Oh, there we go. Good two putt there for us. We will take that back on the par train. Let's keep it going. Well, there's plenty more divots on this green, so let's take care of a few before we move on to the next hole. We're definitely not going anywhere with the group in front of us, so let's fix a couple more. What else we got? You? Another one. Get these off the greens. This is a pretty beefy one. Let's see if we can get that repaired correctly. Settle them back in. Nice. We've got a 306 yard par four up here next. What is it to carry this water? 255 to carry the edge of this water. Mm, I don't know if I should go for this or not. That's very risky. Or we could play it out to here somewhere. We got like 205, 210 to this bunker, 190 to the front of it. That's probably a much safer play. I think I'm just gonna hit a, let's hit a five iron to see if we can get something in the fairway on this side. Yep, that's looking like a very nice safe option there with the five iron. Hit the center of the fairway, kept us in this hole. All right, let's see if we can put that thing on the green. All right, we've got a 116 yard approach here as whatever that thing is, the buzzard flies by. Pin is looking like it's pretty central, which is nice. So 116 yards, three foot uphill, playing about 120. I think we're gonna take the 50 degree and just aim a little bit left of this pin. 
I like that. I feel like that's the right number. Give me a little juice on that one. Spin off the ridge a little bit. All right, well, not too much spin, but we stopped the dead right in the heart of the green. That is gonna be a birdie look for us. We're starting to find our groove. Looking for an 18 foot putt here. Again, I underread the last one. Let's see if we can overread this one. Big right to left swinger here. We're on a bit of a side hill. Probably gonna play it outside. Maybe like right in the middle of these two, uh, these two grid lines here. That seems pretty good. I like the look of that putt. Oh, but it's really short actually. Huh, I thought I got the speed perfect on that one, but again, I'm just having a little trouble with the simulator here, getting back into the swing of things. It's another four foot gimme tap in though. Again, four foot is a very generous gimme, but we'll take it here on this hole, so let's run it back in real life. Next up, we've got about a 320 yard par four here. We've got water right and water left, so this is gonna be a tricky one. Let's see what kind of decisions we're gonna make. Well, it looks like we've got lots of water up the right-hand side or something over here, probably water, and we definitely got water straight up on the left-hand side there, so that's about 250 yards. The bunker's about 210 to the end of it. I'm thinking about just taking like a nine wood and trying to like drop it right in here or something like that. That might be the play just to, to keep ourselves in this hole. All right, the nine wood is the play there. You can maybe just see the top of that directional flag. We're gonna go right over that. We can probably reach the bunker, so I'm not gonna put you know, full power on this, but I just wanna try to keep it straight. That looks really good. Right at the right edge of the bunker. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted to do. Beautiful. All right, let's get this hole going. Beautiful looking drive here, hit the center. Well, it's not quite the center of the fairway, but a really good spot to come in from. We've got about 120 left into this pin. Green looks nice and big, so I'm just gonna aim for the center. If it drifts back to the right, that's perfect. Uh, we've got a 50 degree. Oh, that needs to settle. Caught that a little thin. She's over the back. Well, that's not the, uh, the contact we were looking for. Maybe next time. Over the back here, it definitely deserves to be here from that contact, but we kind of a ridge we gotta go up over and then hopefully not too far after that. So I wanna land this kind of just in front of that ridge. Settle. That's a good landing spot. Okay, we got another look at par. We'll take that. Definitely a little bit of break in this one. Left to right, kind of a snake here for par. Back up into the wind. Let's see if we can drop it. Yes, sir. All right, back-to-back -back pars. We are trending in the right direction. Let's head to the next hole. Three hundred forty-seven yard par four. Dog leg left here, up over the trees. Looks like the trees probably aren't really in play if we're hitting driver or anything that's gonna get some loft under. I think we'll be fine to get over them. I think we're pretty safe to take driver here. We should be able to land it right about in the middle there. Really nice drive there. We caught the center of the face and lofted that one up there. Hoisted into the sky, 265 carry, bounding down the fairway. That is gorgeous. That beautiful drive does leave us an awkward yardage in here. 64 yards, just need to get the distance right to see if we can float this one up onto the green. Just tried to clip that one up onto the green. Needs a good forward bounce. And we get it, we hopped up on there. It was a little short, but we will take that, that's for sure. All right, it's another putt for bird. Let's see if we can underread this one. Jokes. All right, what are we looking at here? 25 foot putt, uphill, a little bit right to left. Not that much though. I think we're gonna go right here, try to overread it, because I don't think it's moving that much. So let's plop it right there and give it a roll. Seems good. Where's the break? There's the break. And there's the birdie, we drained it. We finally figured out the sim greens here. That's a lovely birdie. Can we do that in real life? Run it back and find out. All right, kind of a long par four here. Well, not too long actually. Just try to see if we can keep one down there, get it in the fairway, right over that 150 flag. Snapping left through the trees. I think we got through. All right, let's see if we can find it. Just turned it over. All right, got about 150 left in here. Can't really see the green. I can see the top of the flag though, so I might just try to draw one up over these trees. Heading a little right. See where it comes down. 
Yeah, just right. All right. Didn't really draw. Let's see what we can work with. I remember him from the simulator. All right, this is a really tough shot. The pin's like right on a ridge. This ground is really hard. Kind of need to almost punch it. Let's see if we can let it bounce just on the front of the screen. All right, let's see if we can get this tight. Oh, I like that a lot. Set though. Oh, that's such a good shot. Beautiful shot from there. That's what we're talking about. Obviously, I'm going to putt better when the putts are about four inches long. Let's see if we can clean this one up. There we go. All right, after I double on the first, we're actually putting together a decent round here. Let's head to the next hole. Absolutely beautiful looking hole here. 400 yard par four dog leg left with some beautiful trees here in play. Uh, let's see, what is it to carry? Like 265 to here? No, 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 275 to the cart path straight ahead of us there kind of down through the fairway. I think we're pretty safe to hit driver though, so we'll just try to take it right down the pipe, cut off as much of this corner as we can. That is an absolutely gorgeous drive. Little baby draw on that one. That is absolutely nuked down the pipe. 270 carry, rolling through here, bounding down the fairway, yeah, just into the first cut, but a 301 yard drive. We will take that every day of the week. 122 yards here from the light rough. We've got about 14 feet downhill as well here. That's probably gonna cancel out the effect of the light rough. So probably just gonna play a true 122 and take a 50 degree. I like this a lot. It's a great looking approach here. Right in the heart with a little bit of spin. Beautiful. Another birdie look. We are really starting to find our groove here on the sim. Can we make it two birdies in a row? We've got a 16 footer uphill here. Well, I guess it's an 11 footer, but it's playing 16 feet. Little bit of right to left, not too much though. So I think we're just gonna start it right there and give it a roll. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Oh, just a hair short. Oh, I should have given that a little bit more of a run because it was uphill, but all right, we're out of here with a par. Play it again in real life. Four hundred forty-one yard par four up here now. As you can see behind me, we've got kind of some dead trees over there. That's kind of what we're aiming for. Definitely a little bit of a dog leg left. We're gonna try the driver. Just don't want to snap it into the woods, and we should be all set. Let's go. Yeah, that's the drive. Just to the right of that dead tree. Well, I thought I absolutely piped that drive. It was perfect, but we can't find it. It's red stakes here, so it must have just bounced here, hopped in. I mean, that's the game, I suppose, and that's the big difference between sim golf and real golf. Sim golf, we kind of get that nice overhead view where we can see everything, but real golf, we're hitting over that hill. It's a blind shot. I haven't played this course ever before, and here we are. Did I play in high school? I might have played in high school, but the memory's long gone. The memory's long gone for now, so. Red stakes, we'll take our drop. We're gonna have about 150 yards in, so. All right, let's see what we can do from here. Looks good. Is that the right number? Be close. Oh yeah, it's all over it. That's a really good shot. Just a hair long, but that's gonna be like a 15 foot putt for, well, it should be for birdie, but now it's gonna be for par, unlucky. All right, let's roll. Well, it's not quite gonna be 15 feet. It's gonna end up being more like 30. We rolled out quite a bit. That was an absolute meteor though. Really good distance control on the initial flight, but we rolled out quite a bit. This is gonna be a tricky one. Putting's been tough today too, so really wanna two putt, leave myself a tap in here. That would be ideal, so. All right, let's read this bad boy. Quite a bit of left to right in this one. Again, every pin is on a ridge here. Pin placement's been really tough so far. Very tricky, a lot of uphill, a lot of downhill. It is fun though, I will say that. All right, see if we can get this close. Decent speed, go a little. Eh, maybe it wasn't decent speed, I don't know. I kind of got scared of that one a little bit. This one is tricky, tricky. I think we're just outside left edge. Yeah, maybe like a ball outside left. All right, we're rolling it confidently though. Let's keep rolling it. Oh, I hit the spot. It just didn't break as much as I thought it would. All right, tap that thing in. I believe that is another double. So that leaves us at four over par through five holes, I think. Four to go. Let's see what we can do. 
par three up here next, 115 yards, seven feet uphill, pin kind of in the front right for us here. I think it might just be a soft 50 degree this time. Probably play it right at the center and let it drift back. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this one. 50 degrees getting a lot more action today than it normally does. Let's see if we can hold this one out. All right, just might, you know. Get up, one bounce for me. Absolutely beautiful. That is some great distance control there. 50 degree is coming in clutch for us today. All right, let's see if we can roll another birdie. Pretty similar to the last one, actually. Uphill putt, it's looking for 17 feet. I don't know if it needs that much. Okay, I guess it is a little bit uphill. And we underread the last one, so I will put this one just outside the hole. Yeah, let's play it a hole outside left and run it right up the hill. Is it gonna get there? Yes, it is. It is right in the center of the cup. Another birdie. Check it off for the simulator. Let's see how we do in real life. Well, we are gonna go with pitching wedge. That pin looks like it might be a little further back than I first thought. It's gonna be nice and smooth though. Nothing crazy here. I love a nice putt at birdie. It's decent. Get right on it. Well, that seems like a really good shot, I would say. Can't really tell how far it is. The last time I thought it was 15 feet, it was 30 feet. So could be 30 feet, could be 30 inches. Don't know, guess we'll find out. Well, this is looking like it worked out pretty well for us. That pitch mark is dead on line with the flag stick. Good thing we didn't hit the flag stick again, actually. That could have ricocheted anywhere. So we'll go ahead and fix that thing. But it does look like we've got about a 15 footer for birdie. So kind of makes up for the last one. I would really love to get a stroke back here. That would go a long way in keeping us at that, like five more than the simulator mark that we originally predicted. So, all right, let's see what we got to work with on this putt. Actually looks like it's pretty straight. You know, I don't think I'm gonna play that much break at all on this one. A little bit downhill, probably gonna play it about 10 feet since it's about a 15 foot putt. Let's at least give this one a chance. I like it. Oh, it just moved left a little bit. It wiggled left. All right, let's see if we can tap that in for our par. Back of this cup's actually a little damaged. Help out the greenskeeper here. All right, straight back up the hill here for our par. Let's drain this thing, no questions asked. Right, right. I do have some questions to ask. Making putts is one of them. I think I actually missed the face of the club on that putt. I feel like I hit it like right here. How does that happen on like a two foot putt? That's the game out here. Well, that's one of the big differences between the simulator and real golf is the simulator, all those putts are good because we've got six foot gimmies on. That's normal tournament rules for the simulator. That's how we typically play it. So we lost a stroke there to the simulator and that puts us at five over on the day. Hopefully we can just par out and end with that five over mark. So, all right, on to the next hole. Hole number 16 here is a par four dog leg left. Really cool looking hole actually. We've got some water features here. It's 243 to carry this one and then 285 to make it to this one. That is dangerous, but I think I'm gonna try to go over this one though. We can carry this very comfortably. 243 is not a difficult carry. Do we have trees in our way? Okay, we do have trees in our way, but I think we can get it up over these trees in time and not have to worry about them. I think I'm gonna aim even further left here to try to take this right pond out of play. But let's go ahead and rip a driver up over these trees and see what happens. Really gonna to have to start questioning the decision making here after this one ends up in the pond. But hey, we came here to have some fun. So let's rip this up over the trees and see what happens. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Go through, 90% air. Oh, please stay out of the water. Okay, that was a bit risky. We got very lucky there. I hit that off the bottom of the club face. We did not get the height I was trying to get out of it, but I think we escaped because we aimed far enough left of the pond. Let's play this one in. 78 yards left here from this rough. Hmm, it wants us to pitch out with a nine. I think I'm gonna take a 58 degree actually game. Thank you very much. Aimless just to the left. See if we can drop one on the dance floor. Not quite a full swing. Little knockdown 58 here. Seems like it's the right number. Swung hard to make sure we got it out of the rough and we got it onto the dance floor. All right, good result. Another green in regulation, let's go. 12 foot putt for birdie here. Right to left breaker as well. Probably gonna play this one. Cup and a half outside the hole on the right. All right, downhill as well. Let's see if we can drip this in the side. Come on putt, be good. Stay up, stay up. 
Ah, oh, it doesn't quite stay up. Should have aimed it a little further on the outside, but that's another tap in gimme par on this hole. Well, I certainly could hit five iron up to that flag. You can just see the top of the, uh, the aiming marker there because that's 150 yards in. But I don't think you guys came to this video to watch me hit five iron. And plus, I want to try to make some birdies for you guys anyway. But I think we're going to try to hit like a knockdown driver just straight over that flag. If we catch it really flush, we could reach the pond on the other side. So I'm just going to try to take a little off of it and go right over that flag. Even right of that flag would be good because it's plenty safe there. So goodbye. Hello. Let's go. Yeah, that's a little knockdown. Beautiful. It's probably going to miss the fairway right, but it is definitely going to be dry. So we will take that 10 times out of 10. Let's go. All right, I think we got about 125 to the flag. Obviously, we got that bank in front. If we hit that, we're pretty much screwed. So we definitely want to carry this 125. So I think that's going to be pitching wedge. See what we can do. I think this is the exact same shot we just hit on that par three. Just going to try to replicate exactly that. See if we can drop this one on the green. It's looking good. Is it the right number? Go a little? Yeah, it is the right number. Perfect. All right, really good shot. Pitching wedge is coming up clutch today. It must be all that muskrat lynx golf we played last week. All right, let's see what we can do with another birdie putt. Not three putt this one, that's the goal. We've got this 15 footer for birdie. Feels like it's moving a little bit right to left. I'm thinking about putting it maybe like a cup outside somewhere right about here. At least give ourselves a chance to get something good on the scorecard. So let's see if we can make this thing. Oh, it just lips out. Ah, so close, but we've missed putts like that before. Let's not miss this one. Let's focus here and make this thing. Back up the hill here, just left edge. Let's see if we can get this one into the back of the cup. Oh my God, I can't make any of these today. It's just not working out. Ah, uh, well, I think if we've learned one thing today, it's that I could use the putting practice and the six foot gimmies on the simulator, that's very generous. <laughs> All right, two holes to go, let's go. Hole number 17 up here is a beautiful looking 317 yard downhill par four. I think we can just about creep up on the front of this absolutely massive green if we pipe a driver, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. <sighs> Mosquito. Get him. Ah! I don't know if I got him. Well, it's a pretty spinny drive, but it ended up going the right spot. Hit it off the bottom of the club. Yeah, only 244 carry, but we're rolling down through this fairway into the first cut. All right, we'll take it. Good drive. A little 47 yard flip over the bunker here is what we got left. Let's see if we can get this one tight. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. See, bugs, just like in real life. We spare no expense here at the simulator. Those bugs were imported from outside. <laughs> that wasn't funny, but you're almost laughing. Did we get the right number? No, no, we did not. Oh, came up short there. Really tough to judge that distance. All right, now we gotta play out of the bunker. Was it in the bunker? Just on the lip. Just on the lip, apparently. So now we've got to see if we can get this up and down. I think I'm going to swap to the 54 degree. A little bit of left to right in this one as well. Seems good. Seems very good. Beautiful chip shot there. Good swap to the 54 degree. All right, this hole is going to be really cool to play in real life. So let's go back to the tee box and do it. Well, looks like the wind's kind of coming across, maybe helping a little bit. We've got a 317 yard par four up here next. It's about 290 or so to the front bunker. And again, at this point, we're trying to make some birdies out here. So we're gonna take the big dog again. We're gonna open this one up. Don't have to swing super hard, but I'll see if I can get one down to the green for you guys to give ourselves another look at birdie that I'll probably just three putt. But getting that look at birdie is what we're trying to do. Let's go. A little high in the face, but it's looking really good. Working its way right down the middle, right in front of the green. Nice, yep. A little high on the face, so it probably only went like 260, but again, good line. We should have a good look at there, see if we can get it up and down for our birdie. 
Oh, I broke the plastic tee. No! Don't leave plastic tees in the tee box. They can break maintenance equipment. Take them with you, put it in the trash. Well, there's the divot. Lost some yards on that carry. <laughs> But here we go, we've got about, it's probably about 88 yards, I think we decided to the pin from here. Looks like it's just a downhill slope over that bunker, so it might kick and roll forward. So I wanna carry it a little bit beyond that and hopefully I can just drop it like a rock next to the pin. Just about a full 58. Good contact, a little right. Is it the right number? Ooh, just on the back. Yep, got a little too much on that one, but it is a green in regulation. We hit a fairway, we hit a green, time to three putt. <laughs> just on the back fringe here got about 35 feet i think it's going to be pretty quick my ball didn't spin much from where i landed earlier so i'm going to take this just out the right maybe a couple feet see if we can just let it feed back down in want to get the speed right stay up ah and it's gone a home run <laughs> oh my goodness Oh man, these greens are tough. I'm just not figuring them out today. I think I've lost so many strokes putting over anything in my game, but I know we don't need to lose a stroke here. We can just make this, no problem. A little bit of movement. It's not gonna be too much coming back up though. Maybe a cup outside left is probably the play. It wasn't a cup outside left. I know I played that more than a cup outside left, but I only broke a little bit. All right, this is my nemesis now. We can do this. Hit the ball into the cup. Ball, cup, go. <sighs> no problem, we made it. Well, that's like our fifth three putt of the day. So that's not exactly the stat we were looking to get here, but on to hole number 18, finally. It is a par five, so let's see if we can give ourselves another look at birdie. Maybe, just maybe, we'll make one. Let's go. And our final hole is another really nice looking one. Huge dog leg right par five. Let's see what we got cut in the corner here. Looks like about, maybe we can go to about there. I don't think we want to cut off too much of this corner though. So maybe we'll take it to there. Where is it about 150 carry? It's like 150 carry right there. So I think that's where we want to aim. Definitely push that one further right than we wanted to, but hopefully it goes far enough. Is it going to kick out of the rough? Nah, we hit a mound and it kind of stays over there, but all right, nothing wrong with that. We can play from there. All right, we got 199 yards left, a golf cart in our way, 16 feet uphill. So it's probably playing about 205. Uh, out of the heavy rough, it's gotta be the nine wood. Anything up by the green is gonna be really good. So let's whip it up there. If I hit that cart, I'm gonna be pissed because I could have moved that in real life, but I can't move it on the sim. Hit him with the little carver. That's looking pretty good. Didn't quite make the contact I wanted to on that one, but the result is just dandy. All right, a little up and down for birdie to end here. 17 yards just on the edge of the green here. We'll probably hit the 54 again because it did so well for us last time. A little bit of right to left here in this, so let's see if we can get one close. Get tight. Roll out. Release. Oh, it's another very good chip there, and that is going to end us with... Another automatic birdie. We'll take advantage of those six foot gimmies all day. All right, let's run it back. Play this again in real life. What a nice closing hole. Let's go. All right, about a 540 yard par five up here to finish. Big dog leg right. We've got OB stakes far right. So we don't want to go into them, but I think I'm just going to take it right up over these two OB stakes you can see right in front of the tee box here. Let it fade back a little bit and we should be in good shape. Come on, driver, let's hit another good one. Ooh, a little stinger action. Pretty straight. Hopefully that's not through, but it might be a little bit through. We'll see what we get. Well, we've hit the center of the fairway with that stinger of a drive here. We've got about 250 to the green, so probably not going to get there, especially uphill. I think I want to leave myself about that 95-yard shot in again, which would be perfect for a 58, which is about 190 from here. So I'll probably just take the nine wood and just hit it as smooth as I possibly can. I think that's the smart play. I should be able to keep that one nice and in the fairway. It's uphill, so it's probably playing about 210, which is just a smooth nine wood. So, all right, let's see if we can leave ourselves that 95 yards in. Let's go. Looks good. A little bit left fading back. 
should be okay. I think it's a little left, but I think it's functional. Should be the right number in. Well, with that pin all the way over on the left, I think we're a little bit further out than I want it to be. It's probably about one, maybe like 108. So I think we're gonna take the 54 actually. That should be a pretty good number. Hopefully we don't catch a flyer. Let's see if we can get this one on the dance floor. The absolutely huge dance floor. These greens are huge out here. Needs to go a little. It is on the dance floor, but it's another one of those monster putts that I've been three putting all day. So, all right, maybe we can conquer it on this last hole. Let's go. Well, we've got like a 65 footer here and it's in this like gigantic bowl down to you guys' right. So I'm gonna try to putt up towards you and then it's gonna start making its turn and funnel right down to the hole. So dad's gonna stay up there to give you guys a good angle. I'm pretty much going right for you. All right, can we make a bomb? Let's see. Realistically, I'd beg for a two part right now. That'd be amazing. I mean, it looks good. Wow, that is a really good putt from there. We will take that every day of the week. Beautiful. All right, it is our nemesis though. It's like a three footer. I think I'm like 10% for the day on these. So maybe we can make this one. Well, it is downhill. It's moving a little bit. Well, let's see if we can tap this one, let it creep over the front edge and see if we can get out of here. <gasps> oh my God, we actually made a two putt for the first time today. Well, the final scores are in everybody. We finished plus seven on the day in real life and minus two on the simulator. It has to be said, it was a brutal putting day out there in real life. Obviously the simulator has its benefits with the six foot gimmies. I could have used some of those out there in real life today. So we ended up nine strokes worse through nine holes in real life than we were on the simulator. But again, I think I played a little bit worse than I normally do in real life. This was a super exciting video. Let me know if you wanna see it again on a different course in New Hampshire, I'd be more than happy to do that. And let me know what you guys thought about this video. Was it as fun as you thought? Were the results exactly what you were thinking as well? So let me know down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. Like I said, join the Muskrat Lynx golf team. You wanna be commenting on these videos. You wanna be subscribed because I got something really cool planned for those of you who've been supporting me before we get to 5K. So thank you all, but I think that's gonna be it for me. Have fun out there, everyone. I was a good two putt. You had some two putts from two feet. Or I know, I was two putting from like just in this dome all day.